in the world is that? I want to find an elephant and test its reflexes. I thought all of the rest of them were ridiculous. Hey, Midnight Science Club members, it's good to see you again. I'm Jake Wizard 4 here at Faraday Studios. It's time for Midnight Liars Club, the game show where scientists and science communicators tell the truth and an occasional lie about an interesting piece of scientific equipment. And I'd like to introduce you to the group of liars we've assembled. Tamara, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm a chemical and biomolecular engineer, but most people know me as a MythBuster. Do we have any other MythBusters among us? Oh, there she is, Tracy. That's so awesome. We have all MythBusters and Rob. That's right. And then Rob. That sounds like a new song, uh, MythBusters and Rob. Tension is rising because guess what? We have a biologist oh, in our presence today. I really think biology is just the study of life. So it's including all of the things we see around us. He's trying to make biology cool. He might make a couple steps today. This is just an exercise to determine the truth. And I hope I can engage you to think like a scientist. And you watch these folks, watch how they think and the processes they use. Each one of the liars writes their lie and sends it to me, and then I add the truth. So there are four stories. One story is true, three of them are lies. The liars will take turns guessing which one's the truth. And at the end of the show, we'll announce the biggest liar. Not me. Well, I always tell the truth, huh? Da, 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 da. We need some music, drum roll or something. Here it is. Da, da, da. What in the world is that? It's got a wood handle. Well, I assume it's a handle, nylon or plastic of some sort. It's pretty hard and it's not flexible and it's smooth and it's got a conical shape and then it's got a spherical side here. So I want each one of you to write what you think it is. Do you know what it is? What is this thing? Look at this. Blue? Maybe it has to be blue. Well, our three players just sent me a fine list of possibilities. Look at those. Look at those lion faces. This looks like I'm at the county jail looking at people wanted, you know, liars. Right there they are, look at them. Okay, here, number one, an auto body dent hammer. It's used to knock out dents from the inside of a car body panel and comes in two different radii to accommodate different panel shapes. So somewhere in the, in, in the world, people are beating on cars with this. Number two, this is a veterinarian's tool specialized for pachyderms. The tool is used to check the reflexes in large animals such as elephants, rhinos, and hippos. <laughs> what happens if you hit the nerve on an elephant? Whap! Number three, this is a teaching prop for chemistry class. You have the, the shapes of the orbitals, the electrons blowing around the nucleus. Yeah, they probably got a whole set of these things, orbital hammers, the P electron shape. Here we go, number four. This is a geophysicist geomagnetic hammer for measuring electrical resistivity underground. The hammer has two sides, which changes the intensity of the waves emitted underground. You'll get a shock wave going through the rocks, you know. That's pretty good, let me go over that. An auto body dent hammer, an elephant's knee tapper that a veterinarian would have at the zoo, a chemistry classroom model of all the electron orbitals, or a geophysicist's hammer that he bings on rocks to see how the sound waves travel. One of those is true, three of those are lies. So what I want you to do is, you, if you have an idea what it is, share those on the comments, okay? I read the four, if one of those is true. Which one do you think is true? Which ones are lies? And if you can come up with some better story, put it on the comments, I, I, want, to, I want to capture those. Let's start with you, Rob. I have done a lot of work in Africa and I've worked with a lot of vets who tranquilize elephants and different animals to put satellite tags on them so they can track them around the world, which is pretty cool. And uh, I've definitely seen one of the vets use an instrument like this. The one we had was a little bit larger in black, but I would assume it's the same thing uh, that you have right there. Well, we might as well just quit now. He ruined the whole thing, didn't he? Tamara, what are you thinking? I'm gonna go with the auto body metal bending. And just because I've seen mallets be turned for that application, I've never seen the two different shapes. They're usually the same on both sides, but I could see this being utilized in sheet metal fabrication for cars. What about you, Tracy? This is really hard for me because one of those guesses is mine and I still think I'm right. But you know what? I'm gonna be different. Let's just say it's a underground it's not, but uh, <laughs> underground acoustic transfer, magnetic geology, magnetic. That would freak you out if that was what it is, you know? Well, here's the thing. I would just question, you know, like 
Okay, so where is the sensor going to be located? You would have to have it on the other side or attached to that. There's nothing to attach to it. I'm I'm just contradicting my own guess at this point, but that's what I'm going to go with. Can you see how scientists think that process that just went through her head is beautiful? She wants to fail. <laughs> this is, this is what... None of you picked the chemistry P orbital thing, right? That was the least feasible. I feel like if it was a if it was a prop, it it wouldn't need the tapering and the handle. The tapering is more if you're actually swinging something. Was the only reason I said not a prop. Well, obviously, from my point of view, anyway, the old wizard who used to be a chemist, it is not a P shell uh, orbital demonstrator. So we'll throw that one out. I call that the Midnight Science Club lie. It didn't work. Let's see, Rob, what was your lie? Well, I submitted one that legitimately is something that you use those devices for, but um, a little bit bigger. I took the uh, GeoHammer. Good try, Rob. Good try. And he did it so well. I mean, he lied right at you. And you know, if you didn't have us, Tamron and Tracy and I to protect you from that sneaky biologist, you know, you would have thought the rest of your life that some poor geologist is going bang, bang, bang on the walls. Tamron, Tracy, did you both make that up independently? Yeah, we did. We did the same one and Rob picked it. It was, uh, why would it be us? Of course it is. I wanted you to pick that one. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty clever. And I totally thought that Rob, I thought that it was going to be Rob that would have picked the same thing. What made you think that? Because it does kind of look like a doctor's tool. Is that why you thought of that? It just looks like the medical device that you hit knees with. So because it's rubber and, and larger though, I was like, what kind of animal could we play with? Uh, so I automatically was like, okay, rhinos, hippos, elephants, all of that. So that's why I constructed my lie. You know, to me, it just looks like a reflex hammer, but it's bigger than one you would use for a human. So, yep, it's just, it's so funny that Tara and I both thought elephants. I want to find an elephant and test its reflexes. In my defense, I thought all of the rest of them were ridiculous. And the most logical one was the one that I put down as the lie which was something, a device that I've used with the sledgehammer to detect uh, underground subsurface soil types. Well, this is a sheet metal forming hammer and, and you see them in sets, you know, they're for different radii of curves that they want to make or do auto body repairs or what, you know, but that, and it feels kind of, it's kind of a neat looking hammer to have hanging around. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I must announce that Tamara won again. Can you figure that out? Next. <laughs> so I want to thank our three, uh, what do we call them? Scientific storyteller, exaggerators, uh, bluffers, and liars. So I'll just go ahead and say it. They're liars. You did a good job today. I'll give you a hand. Hey, okay. And you can find the old wizard uh, hanging around with his blue hammer here at Faraday Studio, uh, Midnight Science Club on all social media platforms, and especially Patreon. We'll have another piece of scientific lore equipment or something here in the studio to, to tell lies about next time we get together. Thank you.